we're gonna pull up its Ebene's uh, resume. And I just wanna preface this with a thank you to Ebene because she was amazing about uh, actually volunteering for this. Yeah. I mean, that takes guts. That does for take Ebene. guts. I'm really, really proud of her for doing this. And, and I'm just gonna quote her directly on this of, I give you permission to rip my resume a new one. <laughs> and we will. So, um, uh, I want to give you a little background here that she had provided for me. So, she has more sales experience than the marketing and PR side. She's looking for roles at this point as a client success manager, business development, event sales coordinator, or writing slash digital content marketing. So, she's definitely looking at some various areas. We're going to get more into that in a minute. Um, there's a lot of overlap between these areas, so I do want to preface it with that. Um, but let's let's look at this particular document, taking a step back, looking at the format. So clearly, if you if you do compare this particular document with some of the other ones, you'll notice that it, it doesn't really have much of a format. What we would actually refer to with this is this is called an HBR format, the Harvard Business Review format. HBR came up with what they considered the perfect format 15, 20 years ago which obviously was a while ago, and that bled into so many different sectors, so many different career centers all over the country, and that became the norm for a very long time. But it is no longer the norm. That message has not gone across to everyone. I see this format all the time. Right. So clearly we're, we're lacking a, a direct logical flow to it, um, and that makes it very, very difficult for someone to really figure out, well, what does she bring to the table? Who is she? What is she looking for? There's no branding. There's no skill sets. There's no focus on achievements. And it just goes. And I will tell you, it's hard to see it here because we're just looking at the first page. This actually is a three-page document, two and a half pages, and it should not be. Um, that being said, I will tell you, she has great experience. And so we would want to make sure that that's really positioned well. Now, a key thing for Ebene is that she has been working um, as an independent sales rep for Stella and Dot. Um, and we want to be mindful that these multi-level marketing companies can set off red flags, but they don't have to if positioned the right way. So, um, of course, I want to have a more con extensive conversation with her, but I did notice that she has her own business called The Smiley Effect. And she has been doing a lot of business strategy consulting for entrepreneurs, startups and professionals, social marketing, um, business development planning, launching strategic and, uh, marketing campaigns. So I would probably pull that out, put that top of the document in the experience section and meld the Stella and Dot under that because it is her own consulting work with Stella and Dot, of course. So that way it's all, it is all connected but I would really want to pull out the success that she's had with clients connected to the smiley effect um, and showing that as the more present information. And then, of course, we, we want to gather out, generally speaking, okay, Ebene, what is your, what is your pattern of excellence? In what different ways have you been impactful? What did you do? How did you do it? What was the outcome for throughout, throughout your career? And we want to pull that out for all of the relevant roles that we're going to show um, to make sure that that pattern of excellence is integrated into every aspect of this document. Now, that, of course, is the achievement or the experience sections themselves. At the top of the document, we would put in branding elements to show what areas she's really focused on, skill sets, and have a strong profile to provide a framework for how this entire document should look. I really think that with some work, this document could be quite strong and could open a lot of doors for her. We just need to be strategic and make sure that the format and the content are quite strong and that content-wise, of course, focused on those achievements and the way she's been impactful, both qualitative and quantitative, it doesn't always have to be numbers oriented, but really aligned with what she's looking to do. Now, given that she has a couple of different areas that she's thinking about, we'd probably want to focus on really concentrating on one to two and, and then really pulling out from there what are some of the the skill sets and the wins that drive that and drive that for her so that her job search strategy is aligned with her goals.
So do you want to feel I like what you night? said that it doesn't always have to be um, you know it, it it's easy I guess when you're in sales to say I brought up sales by X percent but a lot of us think well if we're not really in that area exactly. how do I quantify my successes so so that's a whole great conversation I think that it you is and up. I want to just mention that again not all of your achievements need to be numbers based so I like to say they don't have to all have to be quantitative quite often they are qualitative what ways were you impactful that are not connected to a number? And we will work with clients quite a bit on how to pull that information out and position that so it's still a major win.